Hi guys, it's me. Duh, of course. Anyway, uh, what can I say? Just an update um, to my uh, video on uh, feedback to source. Um, I've halted the test on my circuit. Um, basically, this is due to the Dini fan um, not pushing enough back into the battery. Um, after plenty of experimentation, the most that I got was about 66% return. Um, so, basically, need bigger coils. Um, so, sort of, last week, uh, bear in mind it's Wednesday today, last week I um, started drawing up designs for a bigger Bedini and well I've started building it uh, on Friday I ordered some um, um, enameled copper wire um, it was dispatched on Monday and it arrived yesterday about just after 10 o'clock woohoo wonderful um, so yesterday I started building um, coil winding jig and uh, basically a bigger unit. And today I've just finished winding one of the coils. Correct, one coil. Let's uh, take a look. Oh, outside, typical British weather. It's wet. It's just rained a bit, as you can see. Yeah, somewhat grey. But anyway, that's outside. I'm not outside, I'm inside. Right, let's have a look. Coil winding jig. There we go. Three spools on there, one empty. Two blue ones are the new ones they've got. They are 25 SWG. Uh, yeah, I'll talk about that in a minute. Little uh, loops here while I'm winding. And that little monster is going to be my coil. Now, if I take the standard reel, this is the empty one, uh, you can tell what size it's going to be. It's approximately, it's just under sort of three coils at three spools in length that one obviously being a standard spool length actually no, about two and a half I think look at that uh, that one I've already wound on there is using uh, 27 SWG wire I have absolutely no idea how many coils I've actually got on there since I lost count uh, somewhere around about the uh, fifth or sixth layer, something like that. Um, so after that I just kept winding. It's approximately half a spool, so that should give you a rough idea. Um, I might give it a measure and, and see exactly um, how big it is, then I know from the wire diameter uh, roughly how many I've got on there. So that's that one. going to start uh, winding this one is a bifiler. As I said, those two spools there are 25 SWG. Um, I'm not using 26 and 22 uh, for the simple reason being that I want an even output from both the trigger coil and the drive coil. Now both of those two spools there are going to get wound onto there. Yep. Two half kilo spools onto one. So that should be fun. It's taken me um, four or five hours to wind that one. So that one should be done probably tomorrow night, I would have thought. So that's that one. Might need some more uh, loops in the board for winding it though. Same only thing. And here people will recognise that. It is a hard drive platter and bearings. 
with two magnets on each end. Those magnets um, are neodymium magnets, um, north on one side, south on the other. And yes, the curve. So, it's north there, south there, or vice versa. I'm not quite sure yet, because I haven't actually had a look. But I know it's two opposite poles. So, I spent ages uh, making sure it was balanced, making sure they were in the right place, and then stuck them down. I've got two more to go on. There and there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But they need to be cut because um, they're on um, metal backing. So uh, rather them out on the hard drive. The coil itself is going to go diagonally like that. Right, due to its length, basically. So I can fit four on this one if I decide to build four. Um, this is just a test. Um, I mean, what I'm planning to do is to build um, one similar to uh, the Daft Man, um, and basically make quite a wide drum. Um, but for now, this will do perfectly. Not a lot of friction on there at all. Um, and we'll see if my calculations for the coil um, are correct. Right. Why do I have a coil arrangement like that? Okay, quite simple. Realised um, generator coils on their own produce the lens effect. So effectively, the lens effect is caused by the generation coil acting as an electromagnet. As soon as I realised that, I started to wonder, well, isn't the driver coil going to become an electromagnet? Answer, yes. So, one side is going to become north, the other side becomes south. So the lens effect on the generation coil, if I get it right, It'll be north on this side, south on that side. So, south from that coil, north from that coil, cancels itself out. Hopefully. So, that's the theory. Ah, I explained that pretty quickly. Um, I mean, I've got upstairs on my laptop, um, basically a little diagram. So it goes through step by step. <coughs> Excuse me. What happens when uh, the magnets are spinning, and I've then worked out what all the po poles are going to be, all the way down. Then applied the lens effect to it, which some of the poles then end up changing, right? And um, worked out that I've reduced, in theory, reduced the lens effect between half and a quarter of its power which means I'm going to be coming down well close to unity, he says. <laughs> so, that's where I'm up to, that's what I'm doing, um, that's why I'm posting videos for almost a week, uh, or any information. Um, I've been watching uh, uh, what's been going on on YouTube um, pretty much daily, um, basically before bed, um, just sit down with your laptop, do a search for Vadini and see if there's anything new. <coughs> so, what can I say? That's where I'm up to. Um, any questions, give me a shout. And just for the record, winding coils is a pain in the arse. Hope you guys are having fun, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.